Time to turn in our old bottles and cans. Pep, you want to help recycle? What a good job. Hello, Internet! Praise be to God on this amazing day today! I'm Colorful Artie, and welcome to my next Let's Play! My next humongous entertainment Let's Play! Pop Pot and Pep's Dog on a Stick! This is a junior arcade game, much like Balloonorama, came out at the exact same time! And, uh, fortunately, this one game is quite a bit shorter, as well as probably more fun and more exciting. So... Hi, I'm Pot Pot! Welcome to Dog on a Stick! Are you ready to play a game? Press this button to start at the beginning. Press this button to continue an old game. You can even make him play your own level. Press this button to build new levels. Press this button to change your level. Press this button to play your customized level. Have fun! I will. And again, conveniently forgot to mention that the doghouse means quit. But whatever, let's start a new game! So, once again, we have to input what our name is. Our name is Artie. And of course, we'll, actually, you know what? We'll do green font. Because green font, I think, fits this game just a little bit better. Sweet. So, once again, very similar interface for uh, Balloonorama. We've got the level selector. And then if we go down here, junior helper. There's only one junior helper in this. Infinite lives, basically. I will not be playing with that, because Dawn on a Stick is quite a bit easier than Bonorama. So, let's start! Get as many bones as you can, and then go to the checkered play! So, let's explain. This is a cubert style game. You have to jump on these polygons, so you can input which way you want to jump. You've got a bonus at the bottom, where if you hit the exit in uh, a certain amount of time, you'll get that many seconds left as bonus, which is cool. Each bone will give you a few points as well. Hop to it, Pep! So we're in the first world, the Car Town Junkyard. And Pep, Dog on a Stick has a very good story. Just classic, Dog helps re with recycling, gets Pogo Stick as reward. You know, that typical story. But I guess this is a pretty cool game. Much more, much more entertaining than Balloonorama, so I think you guys will like this a lot more. Also, I will probably be playing more than one world per episode. Because I'm guessing people will be able to take more of a dog on a stick in a video than Balloonorama. That's a peppermint! That gives you extra points. Also, fun fact... Uh... <laughs> So I'm guessing a lot of you might be wondering about the title. Basically, if it were not for this game, I would never have played Lemmings. It sounds weird, but it's true. We went to a little, uh, basically my family, when I was a kid, went to like a computer store called CompUSA, and they were selling basically a kid's pack. The kid's pack included Dog on a Stick, like a Fiend of Play-Doh, a weird pirate game that we never played, and Lemmings. Dog on a Stick and Lemmings were on the exact same disc. It was pretty awesome. So that's right, for all of you who've watched my Lemmings Let's Plays, thank Dog on a Stick for that. I thought that was a kind of interesting story. Also, I love the backgrounds and music in this game. Some of the worlds have kind of meh music. Look out for the rascally critters! Alright, this is where things get interesting. This introduces the Rascally Critters, also known as the Hugging Bear. And also, you'll notice that he was standing on this trash can. Well, yeah, certain platforms look different from others. Sometimes that uh, means something, but uh, more often than not, it really doesn't. One thing, if he's jumping, if you jump at just the right time, you can jump through him. And that applies to all different Rascally Critters. But for this world, we're only going to see the bears. Go get those bones! This introduces another gimmick. You can see that blue portal. Basically, we step on that blue portal. The next, I think, five bounces we do, we will bounce twice as far. So, for example, we will be able to jump over that gap. And as you can see, we're jumping a lot farther than usual. And then after five bounces, it goes back to normal. 
There's some just really cool gimmicks in this game. It's also very simple and very short. As you can see, the levels are very small. And if I didn't want to, I don't have to get all these bones. I could literally just jump straight to the flag. But I like getting as many points as I can. Yeah, for those of you who have not played Qbert, this game plays exactly like Qbert. And you have to use the mouse to input which direction you want to jump. Basically, point. I don't know. You get, like, I, it's hard to explain the controls, but it's, it's pretty intuitive once you start playing. So like, I bounce them, move my mouse towards the direction I want to jump. But if I wanted to, I could literally beat this game in one video. I won't, don't get me wrong, because that would probably be an hour long video. This game only has 100 levels as opposed to the 120 Balloonorama had. Alright, this bear's just stalking me. Wow. We are just ripping through this. I will definitely be playing more than just this world in this video. This is hot chocolate. Hop into hot chocolate and you will be able to bounce way faster. I can't remember how long it lasts. It lasts for a while, though. That does mess up the timing on jumping through enemies, though, so do keep that in mind. Ho <laughs> I think the hot chocolate wears off either every time you get hit by a rascally critter or every time you die. I can't confirm that though. Nice little cherry. The bears can also get affected by the super bounce, so do keep that in mind. However, more often than not, that means they will jump off a cliff and never to be seen again. Highly amusing, that. So the levels aren't always going to be this easy. They, the bit difficulty does pick up, but not really until World 7? 6 or 7? Alright, so this will introduce bonus levels. Basically, bonus levels on this, if you hop on a certain square, the bonus exit will appear. If you jump on the bonus exit instead of the regular exit, you'll be taken to a bonus level. It's supposed to appear on every level divisible, evenly divisible by five. So levels ending in five or zero. Uh, level five is the one exception, because it's still introducing you to the basics of this game. So yep, jumping on that dirty trash can will cause the little bonus exit to appear. Yes, I will be going there, but I want to get all the bones. And I got an... Oh, I've got a, quite a few extra lives, actually. Woohoo! Welcome to the bonus level. This is the bonus level. Catch as many presents as you can. So now the presents will be jumping around, but they jump quite a bit faster than the bears, so they can be a bit difficult to catch. <laughs> Cool. That's the first one. Get back here. Woohoo! Yeah! Also, nice uh, little Tokyo City in the background. That's pretty cool. Alright, we are going to actually do multiple worlds this video. So, starting with World 2, which is actually one of my favorites. Look out for the rascally critters! Welcome to the Old West, Rascal Flats. And as you can see, the bears now have cowboy hats. But the thing that I really like about this world is the music. Like, this music is my childhood in musical form. This part right here. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, so good. I hate how it resets after every level, though, and it only happens for this world. It's a travesty. This introduces the next rascally critter, the Linking Cat. As far as I can tell, there is no difference between it and the bear. At all. If anything, it might hop a little bit faster, but if so, it's infinitesimally small, so you'll never notice it. Maybe, they're, maybe their AI is a little different, I don't know. I have yet to find a difference. A couple close calls, but nothing too bad. Goodbye. is so good. Oh boy. That introduces the green sludge. Basically, if you step on the green sludge, as you can see, it'll make you stick there for a couple of seconds so you can't jump right away. This game is try to d determine the most efficient path to get all the bones. Especially for these early levels, which are extremely simple. <laughs> Trust me when I say, probably starting with the next world, the levels are gonna get a decent bit harder, and it will actually require some more fog. Okay, for the life of me, I've always thought those brown fiends were just planks of wood. Nope, they're dog treats. But listen to the sound effect you make when you eat them. Doesn't that sound like like a plank of wood getting crunched? It does, doesn't it? Maybe I'm crazy. Goodbye. <laughs> See what I mean when I say like if the enemies hit the blue portals, they're pretty much going to jump off a cliff. You lose a life if you jump off a cliff or get hit by a rascally critter, so keep that in mind. Again, death is not really... Well, not death, because nobody dies in pup -Butt, But losing lives is not an issue until you get probably to the next world. Pep, be careful out there. And only then if you're careless. So, you don't really have to worry about that. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I want someone to make a remix of this track. You hear me? There we go. See, bonus level on level divisible by five. Evenly divisible by five. Every number is divisible by five, it's just... Bet you didn't think you'd be getting a math lesson in Colorful Artie's video today. But, ah, uh, Colorful Artie's a guy who... Oh, no. Cat licks our face. Lose a life. That makes sense. Nice thing is when you lose a life, you can start jumping sooner than you could if you had, like, uh, just were starting the level. So it can give you a nice head start on the enemies. And again, that was caused by my own carelessness. Oh. Catch as many as you can, Pep! Yeah, alright. Slightly different kind of presence, but they behave the same way. If you're good, you can just get them to jump into you. Okay, that worked out well. And yeah, as you can see, you do have a time limit for the bonus levels. Instead of the bonus counter, it's a time counter. Thank you. Sweet! Ice cream! Ooh, I, lo I love the look of these canyons on this level. It's so good. And the custom level editor in this is pretty awesome. Much better than the Balloonorama one. Then again, this game's just a bit more fun than Balloonorama, in my opinion. I am sorry to anybody who likes Balloonorama more. The things I do for some bones. Well, 
this river mean? We gotta go back down. Just to get the ice cream and the other boats. That just means we get to hear the music more. Interrupting the music, Pop Pot. Oh, yeah! That little red bit in the middle is Super Pep. Super Pep's nowhere near as game breaking in this as he was in Balloon. Actually, he's still pretty game breaking. Basically, when you're Super Pep, you can just. When you touch enemies, they get knocked out, not the other way around. Okay, still for the life of. I think this is a seashell that you pick up here? It's like a corkscrew. You gotta use the blue power to get there. Oh, Super Pep. So, Super Pep's not as off the walls amazing as it was in Buenorama. Still, getting points for getting rid of enemies is pretty good. I still can't believe I had my first knockout, though, in this world. That was a bit embarrassing. I can't remember if Super Pep carries over to the next level. I want to say it doesn't. Good luck, Pep. Nice uh, on the floating platforms. That looks amazing. Yeah, ride 'em, cowboy bears. So this one might give you some trouble if you don't know you can jump through enemies. The look of the power-ups brings me back to my childhood! Alright, these... I feel like the bears are more intelligent enemies than the cats are. They see, I feel like the bears seem to follow you a, better, a longer distance than the cats do. Look before you leave, Pep! Yep, this level forces you to use the blue portals. I'm getting Papa Travels Through Time references, even though these games came out before Papa Travels Through Time. Yeah, I played that one way out of order. Sorry about that, everybody. I couldn't remember if I had another bounce after that. I probably did, but I did not want to be stuck on that platform and have to jump off a cliff. Colorful Artie does not support animal cruelty. Alright, I've got ten lives. I can't remember if you can get more than ten lives in this. Go get those bones. Oh, fun. Finding the bonus level on this is going to be great. Because it could be... Any single tile could trigger the bonus level exit. Except for the exit, of course. So it could be on any single one of these green things. I want to say it's on one of these bones over here, though. <laughs> yep, there we go. Yeah! Alright, I think this will be the last level of the episode. Catch as many as you can, Pep! Oh, you know I will. Presents, thank you. I just love it when the presents jump right on top of you, like that. And that. Yeah! Oh, you can't have more than 10 lives in this. Sweet! 
All right, well, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope you enjoy this series because this series has thus far been a lot more fun than Balloonorama. And I should, I'll, I'll just stop comparing this to Balloonorama unless it's a legitimate comparison. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.